Tosh got another two gray hairs. Those are gray hairs. Wow. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Teen Ryan's family? Juwan Buford, the broadcasting here from Detroit. And what I want to talk about right now is the slump that I'm in. Yeah, I'm in the slump. And I'm going to tell you, <laughs> there's very few things that will sour my mood <laughs> than being in the slump. Now, I'm the type of person, because I go so hard in the paint, I'm constantly, constantly moving, constantly looking to build, gain, and learn more, do more, grow, go further, go harder. When I get into a slump, it really puts me in a mood where I'm feeling some kind of way, right? And how did I realize I was in a slump? Well, number one, I was spending time reflecting on associates who weren't showing up to calls, right? Instead of being so much concerned about those who were. Uh, how did I know I was in a slump? Because I looked up and I this very rarely happens, but I've had two days of back-to-back -back appointments where I wasn't getting um, the type of traction and response that I wanted. People were not enrolling. And once again, for someone like myself that prides myself on e efficacy, right? Not so much on everybody saying yes to me, but being in a situation where I'm sharing enough information with people where because of the numbers, things kind of go my way. <clears throat> um, that's what I'm accustomed to. But the last couple of days, that has not happened, right? Um, and of course, I started feeling some kind of way and started focusing on other things, right? Calling up other associates, which is nothing wrong with that. But I was calling up other associates and then I was thinking about how the trainings can be better and more improved, which we can always get better at, right? Um, I ended up doing several coaching calls with other associates who may not be the most coachable. I'm going to come back to that another time, not during this, but another time, um, you know, scratching and clawing and getting them to do the things they're really supposed to be doing independently. Right. And that's when I realized, like after this last presentation I gave where someone had every reason to say yes. Right. And we know what it is. Right. We've all been here before. I've said it time and time again. I've heard it said to me time and time again. I'm going to say it now. The people who you think will, won't. And the people who you think won't, will. Right? I had that show up several times. And that's when I realized I was in a slump because I was focused on all these negative things that were happening in my business. I was thinking, I found myself, you know, thinking about, I don't have enough time. Like, I don't have enough time to get the operating agreement done. I don't have enough time to call up the four or five new business partners who just recently on board. I don't have enough time, right? And look, I'm sharing this with you because once again, I'm, I'm done talking about what I know. I'm gonna start sharing more about what I'm going through and what I'm doing, right? And so, yeah, it happens to the best of us. I'm in a slump. How am I gonna climb out the slump, right? So after this last appointment I just had, where I literally found myself looking in my journal and doing all these other things, I said, myself, wait a minute. This is not how you climb out of a slump. These are not RGAs that I'm doing. There are things that are helpful. There are things that are meaningful. Planning for our boot camp is meaningful. Coordinating with other people in the state to make sure that our state events um, are attractive and beneficial. They're all meaningful. But those things won't pull you out of a slump. And it took me about 15, 20 minutes of frustration before it finally dawned on me, okay, let me get my head right, let me woo-saw, take a breath, and get back in a proper form again, right? Get back in the flow. And when you're in a situation where you're feeling some kind of way about your business because these things are happening, I'm going to share with you what I'm getting ready to do. And so the first thing I did, like I said before, I took 10, 15 minutes, I had a woo-saw moment, right, to clear my head. Let me just stop thinking about work. Let me reflect on the things that actually generate revenues, RGAs, revenue generating activities, or KPIs, key performance indicators. And so what are your RGAs? What are your key performance indicators? How do you gain momentum again, right? We had a trainee yesterday that kind of talked about this, right? That business is a game of momentum. And while I was training on it, I was going through diminishing momentum myself, right? Right, because I've seen it happen time and time again, and I just fell victim to it, right? What ends up happening is, you're doing activity, you're doing activity, you're doing activity. I'm going to talk about that activity is in a moment. And life starts happening. And just like popcorn, right? You put popcorn in a microwave and the instructions say pop it for 60 seconds. And then some of us, including me, it happened to me. 
I fell victim to it too. You put the popcorn in for 45 seconds and you start taking your attention elsewhere. But the bottom line is we all know, those of us eating popcorn, if you haven't eaten popcorn, we tell you, you put a bag of popcorn in the microwave for 45 seconds and says 60, you know what's going to happen? Nothing. So you're doing all this activity. You're doing all these different things for 45 seconds instead of 60 seconds and then nothing happens. And then what ends up happening is you take the popcorn out and the temptation, if you're not experiencing popcorn, is you think you're going to put it back in for 15 seconds again. That's not what happens. You literally have to pop that popcorn back over again, right? And that's what I'm getting ready to do. I'm about to take the bag of popcorn and put it in for 60 seconds to regain momentum. So what is that going to look like, right? Between now and when it's time for me to pick up the kids. Well, look, here's the thing. The most important thing we can all do in our business is to stay in phase one. What's phase one? Going out and inviting more people to learn about your business. That is the error in judgment I made. I was so busy coaching, so busy helping, so busy pouring into other people, I neglected myself. And all that other stuff doesn't matter. Planning events doesn't matter. Doing thumbnails doesn't matter. Posting on Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever, none of that stuff matters. Even the coaching doesn't matter if you are not inviting new people to learn about your business. That's the bottom line. None of the follow-up with people who you reached out to two, three, four, five, six months, six weeks, six minutes ago. None of that stuff matters. None of the things that sending out that email or responding to this text, this, that, and other, it doesn't matter. If you are not inviting several new people a day, now look, if you're part-time, that means two to three people should be learning about your business per day. But if you are trying to get it in, you're not trying to wait 50 million years to win. You need to be inviting several people per day. For me, I start getting anxious and nervous, which is what happened today, when I realized I have not been inviting 10 to 20 people per day on LinkedIn or whether I'm meeting people or whether I'm following up via text message or Facebook or I'm calling up members and asking them for referrals. I had not been doing anything. I fell out of that habit. And that is the most important thing, once again, because it's easy to feel like you're doing work. It's easy to feel like you're accomplishing something. It's because you're doing work, you're putting forth, you're putting out energy, but it's just like if you're pushing up against the wall, you be pushing up against the wall all day, every day. The wall doesn't move. You're not doing work. You're just spending energy and be transparent. That's what I've been doing for maybe the first several days, right? And yeah, I'm performance code qualified. I still have stuff going on, but that was work I did a month ago that's just showing up and manifesting today. But I know my next month is going to suck. I know the next two weeks are going to suck if I don't start spending my time not just expending energy and doing things, but doing the things that matter. And the most important thing I can do, anyone else can do, the thing that matters the most is buckling down and sitting down over the next hour and a half for it's time for me to pick up the kids and at least inviting out 10, 15 people. Now, how am I going to do it? Some of it's going to be on LinkedIn. I'm going to get cleaned up, you know, head out the door. I'm going to head to my favorite coffee shop. There's going to be people there, right? Because though this is a home-based business, not home-bound, you got to go where there's people. So I'm going to take a book. I'm going to sit it in front of me because I know leaders are readers. People are going to be walking by me. They're going to see the book. They're going to look at me. Some people might even be bold to pick it up. Gotcha, right? I'm going to do these things. I'm going to do what's required to make sure that several new people learn about my business today. And that's how you come out of the slump. Because if you're inviting people to learn about your business, if you're inviting people to learn about the service, if you're inviting people to learn about our value prop, if you are out there sharing the story and your passion for financial literacy and financial independence and wealth building and people having the tools they need to make better decisions for their families, make better decisions for their for their businesses, make de better decisions, period. I firmly believe we have the best resource, the best tool in the marketplace. This tool, this membership is powerful. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go out and invite people to take a look, right? Because if I'm not inviting people to take a look, if I'm not inviting people to learn about my business, no presentations are gonna take place, which is the next KPI. I need to buckle down and I need to invite out 10, 15, I may even try to squeeze in 20 people before I pick up the kids. And I know if I invite enough people to learn about what it is that we provide, our value prop is so good 
Some people gonna say, yeah, I just had the appetizer, which you just shared with me. Yeah, I, I like, you know, I think I might want to order an entree. I think I might want to learn a little bit more about what it is that you're doing. And that results in what? A presentation, right? And if you're really on your A game, because I'm really about to text. Uh, thank you, Mr. Pete, and thank you, Ms. Wells. Mr. Pete and Ms. Wells, you'll probably be one of the individuals receiving a text message over the next 24, 48 hours. Because if you're in your A game and you're inviting people, we call that exposure, to learn about what it is you're doing and sharing a tool and sharing information with them, a three-way should follow. Right? That's the secret sauce, by the way. If you really want to get your momentum going again, implement three ways. I know I'm feeling some kind of way about my business. I'm not feeling thirsty. I'm not starving, but I know my energy isn't where it normally is. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do three ways of individuals who are on 10 about their business. <laughs> I'm going to do three ways of people who are crushing performance club, rank advancing. They have energy. They're excited. I'm going to introduce them to my prospects and they know what the assignment is. Your three-way expert knows the assignment, what the, what the assignment is. The assignment is to get someone in front of a presentation. Whether it's a live presentation, whether it's a Zoom presentation, whether it's belly belly, eyeball to eyeball, like at a coffee shop, or one on one via Zoom, they know what the assignment is. And that's what I'm going to focus 100% of my energies on until the end of the month. I'm going to get back to the basics, get back to phase one, making massive numbers of invitations, getting back to the three way calls, getting back to inviting people to presentations. And then the third KPI is asking for referrals. Cold calling is your punishment for not asking for referrals. And it's a lot easier to call a referral and say, hey, uh, Ms. Johnson learned about our service today. And look, whether Ms. Johnson got the service or not doesn't matter. If you give a professional presentation, if you do these things right, aliens aren't going to abduct your prospects. I firmly believe someone sees the membership, whether they get the service or not, they should see value in it. Right? And I'm going to ask that person for referrals. Who do you know that can benefit from this? Who do you know that you want to help? Who do you know could be benefited by being educated about this being an option? Who do you know that's a business owner? Better yet, who do you know is a business owner with employees that cares about their employees? Who do you know who's looking? They want to earn an extra $1,500 part-time, spare time. That's what Forms Club, right? With all the bonuses and incentives, you Forms Club qualify, your manager and above, you want to get there as quickly as possible? Trust me, your business will generate 50. You can't stop your business if you wanted it to, if your performance will qualify. You're going to do 1500 a month, I promise you. We're going to have a conversation about it afterwards. Follow up with me, I'll, I'll break that down for you, but not today because I'm in phase one today. Okay. In any respect, who do you know who wants to earn extra 1500 part time, spare time, but you just want to help? Who do you know is a go getter, entrepreneur, self motivated? They're the plug. They're talking to people about business development, talking to people about sales development, talking to people about financial independence. Talking to people about building wealth. Talking to people about financial literacy. Who's the plug? Who's that guy or that gal? Right? Just having those conversations. I'm going to ask for those referrals. Right? That's part of phase one. So doing the exposures, making the invitations, inviting people to learn what it is you're doing. Right? Giving people a sample. Right? A, a bite of the apple to see if they want more. Scheduling a presentation for those who raise their hand. I'd like to learn more. And doing it three ways. Right, mix that in. That's like the, you know, the dressing. It just makes it everything better, right? It's like fertilizer in the soil. It makes everything grow faster. And then I'm going to ask for referrals, whether someone enrolls in a service or not. And I know if I do those things, what's going to end up happening is I'm going to get back into flow. I'm going to start enrolling memberships again. Some of those memberships are going to result in referrals. Some of those individuals who are giving me referrals, they're going to raise their hand and say, I'm giving you these referrals. Me? I want to part. It happened. It goes down. I had someone yesterday. Okay, that was a bright spot. Not, not my last 48 hours weren't all bad. But I had someone who I asked for referrals. Okay? They had the membership. I asked for referrals. And then they turn around. Hello, Mr. Tanya White. <laughs> they asked, I asked for the referrals. They gave me like four or five referrals. I'm getting ready to call them right now. And um, I asked, you know, the last referrals, who do you know who could benefit um, and who do you know who would be interested in earning additional income by sharing this with other people? And he raised and said, me. And we scheduled tomorrow, Friday at 5 p.m., right? So you'd be surprised how often that happens. And then I'm going to get those referrals. I'm going to follow those referrals. I'm going to say, hey, Ms. Johnson referred me to you. It may or may not be for you. I'm not calling to sell you anything. But I asked her, who are the smart, sharp, intelligent people, the people who are moving forward, progressing in life? I asked her, who are those people? 
she spoke very highly of you. And of course, the person can say, oh, really? They spoke highly. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Right? You're an outstanding person. I'm glad for the opportunity to chat with you. Well, look, once again, if I were to share the same information I shared with Ms. Johnson with you, would you be willing to take a look? Nine times out of 10, I promise you, people are at least going to be willing to take a look because you're not asking for their back pockets. You're not saying, hey, get this membership, right? <laughs> I want to educate you. I want to share something with you that Ms. Johnson believed would help you level up in terms of your family, level up in terms of your business. Now, if you ain't interested in leveling up, well, you got another problem. <laughs> I don't know if our service can help you with that. But the bottom line is, <laughs> for those who want to level up, they're going to say, yeah, you can send the information. I'm going to say, great. Look, I'm going to send it to you within the next five minutes for email or text. Text, email, okay. If I were to send this information to you within the next five minutes, how soon you can you get around taking a look at it? Is it going to be tomorrow? Morning? Evening? Saturday? Morning? Evening? Okay, I'm going to call you at that time. You said afternoon, one, two, or three. You said evening? How about five, six, or seven? What works best for you? Obviously, I'm looking at my calendar, and whatever time they share, I'm going to be looking at my calendar to see if it coincides, right? Right, that's what I'm going to do. And that's literally what I'm going to get back into. I'm about to double down on those simple activities. I know doing those things will solve all the other problems. So my follow-ups aren't going that well. Well, I got new people to follow up with. Um, maybe I'm dealing with a handful of associates who aren't the most coachable. <laughs> I'm going to get some associates. I'm going to attract some people who are coachable, who are excited about what we're doing. Maybe I'm not... Feel, I'm feeling some kind of way because people aren't plugging into the system. They're not going to the trainings live or otherwise. They're not plugging into the TPP momentum call. They're not plugging to our training call. Guess what? I'm going to introduce some people who will, right? It solves all those other problems. I'm feeling some kind of way because instead of 10 people at our events, I want 20. I'm feeling some kind of way because Super Saturday only had 30 people and I want 60. Look, phase one solves everything. It solves everything. So once again, if you find yourself distracted, doing things that you're, you're, you're burning energy, right? You're putting forth effort, but you're not getting the results. I'm here to tell you, it happens to the best of us. 99.9% .9 of the time is because you abandoned phase one. Yes, I'm, I'm attending a fast start training of a new associate Saturday. Yes, I'm attending a fast start training of a new associate Sunday. But I'm here to tell you, if I don't continue doing exposure, if I don't continue filling the funnel, even with that goodness that's taking place, that may fizzle out. They may not show up to the Fast Star Trainer. They may fast show up to the Fast Star Trainer and be in the background watching Netflix. Who knows? But the one thing I can control is the number of people that I invite to learn about our value prop and how we are change agents in the community. I can control that. I can control whether or not I invite those individuals to a presentation or conduct a three-way. I can control that. I can control how many times um, I ask somebody for referrals. I can control that. And so I'm just going to focus on those things. I'm going to get laser, hot, white focus on those things. And instead of just being cool with being 100 or whatever it is, 200 points over Performance Club, I want to crush Performance Club. I'm trying to, I want to put up 700 Performance Club points, right? And instead of talking about what I'm doing or talking about what I know, I'm going to demonstrate what I'm doing. So I'm going to show the people I'm working with what I'm doing. You know, you're going to see me do it, right? Because uh, this is a show business. This ain't a tell business. I get caught up in it too, telling people what to do. No, nah, I'm going to show you what to do by illustration of what I'm doing. I'm going to let you know what I'm doing. I'm going to let you know the activity. I'm going to post it in Slack. I'm going to post it in our Facebook group. I'm going to post it in the TPP group me. I'm going to show, I'm going to demonstrate, right? And then individuals who want the success, Individuals who want to level up, they will follow the golden bricks. That's just how it works, right? That's all I got. That's what it is. So I wanted to share that because I know inevitably it's going to happen to you because it happens to all of us. Don't, 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 don't let smooth taste fool you, okay? Don't let the veneer fool you. We all go through periods in our business where BS.com, life starts lifing, or we just get distracted. Right, with all of the shiny objects, you know, all around us, right? Showing up for recognition, recognizing other people, especially if you have a team. Oh my goodness, the distractions are abound. But the only way you're going to reinvigorate your team, the only way you're going to reinvigorate your business is do phase one. It, put all that other stuff down. Trust me, it can wait. But what cannot wait 
is inviting people to learn about your business, doing the three-way calls, getting into the presentations, asking for the referrals. So that's what I got today. I am going to keep my promise to myself because ultimately when you say something and you don't do it, you're the first person to know about it. And it, it makes you feel some kind of way. So for the next hour and 45 minutes, I'm about to be about that life. Everyone have a fantastic day. I celebrate success in advance. Goodbye for now. Okay. You don't want to be technically proficient to do this, right? I don't know if I turn off a Facebook <laughs> live. All right, there we go.